Hey guys, Pixbunny here. Today I'm building up one of the new Camaros. Well, it's not that new, but the car is new itself. And this is the 2016 Camaro, I believe. It could be the 2017, but I'm not too sure. I've made up a quick little custom livery, which I do actually think looks alright, and that suits this car quite well. I do go with Pandem Rear, and I'm pretty sure I just go with BM for the front and side. Yeah, there we go, BM. I do quite like the side intakes that it puts on it. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, I just think it looks pretty cool. I also put sound on with the Voss Deep um, rims. <laughs> I think they look pretty cool. I go with black calipers and so uh, slicks as well you can't see them on the camber rims and they have the most grip so yeah I just thought I'd go with them. Now exhaust I go with one of the biggest ones is it's, it's just <laughs> one of my favorite exhausts. There you go if you want a quarter marching you can have that and this car with the stock engine pulls a 6.7 on the quarter which is not too bad but it would have got a bit better if it had more RPM so maybe a VR38 or not really an F9 but maybe an LS but eh, you know <laughs> an 11.5 on the half once again not too shabby. Now the 4 mile, the car actually did surprisingly well, the gearing was once again not too bad, shifting on about 9,000 going from 4th to 5th and then about 9,000 from 5th to 6th to get a 19 seconds which is not actually that bad. Now the top speed run the car pretty much had no top end acceleration, I'm not going to lie, it was not the fastest thing at top end, even slipstreaming it wasn't actually that fast. We got up to 278 on this run but I do let the smart go back through and that allows us to get up to about 300 miles an hour if I remember correctly <laughs> but uh yeah the car definitely didn't have that good of an upper acceleration now I put up a poll on my server and it was to only do top 10s, that's what won the vote. So that's what I'll be doing from now on with honourable mentions. Number 10 we've got G ready with this white, black and red Camaro which I do actually quite like. And number 9 we've got Loreski with his dark blue, light blue and black Camaro. I just really like how the calipers match up with the seats, the lights with the side vents and it just looks pretty cool. Number 8 I do whatever I want with one of my favourite cars this build challenges. Um, that's ever really gone through it. It's a pretty cool car and I do quite like it. And number seven, we've got Llama Z with once again a black Camaro, but with a red and white side stripe, which does look pretty damn cool. Number six, we've got Gugus 11 with a Chevrolet this, um, <laughs> this is the Chevrolet logo really on the side and I really actually quite like the black and green on this car. Number 5, Jeff with a pretty cool Camaro, I do quite like this, the rim choice and the ESP wing suit rather well with this car. And number 4, we've got Danky the Giraffe who made up his own fade livery as well as putting on a gold ring wing <laughs> wing and yellow headlights as well as the Voss Deeps, I do quite like that car. Number 3 we've got Simi RA with a Yenko Camaro, one of the cleanest builds I've seen in a little while. Number 2 we've got Squid Squidski, <laughs> I'm not sure, I'm not sure what it is about this car but for me it just really stands out and I actually really quite like it. Now moving on to honourable mentions we've got DKDM, Rocket Bunny 86, XK Savage and 8 bit customs. And number one, we've got SMP Raymond once again with his National Guard Camaro, which he put so much time into. We were going through DMs discussing it and how he can improve it, and I really do like that car. Thank you all for entering, and thank you all for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.